Thomas Carl DC, Valmont, yeah. Nacht. Nacht. Give me that Barrett. The coach, take that, give me that Barrett. <laughs> a hero with no dash at all. <laughs> well, you know, he gives the Lilia. This is, this is what I've, I, I honestly feel that draft patterns matter so much because I felt that no matter what happens, they will pick up the Lilia anyways. Mm. So they could have picked that fourth and maybe just hit that Lancelot pick at the, until the last moment. Yeah. Maybe they were scared that the Lancelot will be picked up. But then again, they can pick up the pirates themselves for the exchange. Which is more, which is more <laughs> SD. Exactly. Yeah. So we can see more Carl TZ and we can see more SDZYZ. This is what I'm wondering, like, some teams maybe the the reason why they feel that they are being outdrafted is just because of the order of picks where you you get it. You know, oh, order man. is almost as important as the hero itself. I agree. I agree. So now, given the look here at the draft again, you could switch it up and you would not be wrong to say TNT is on the left <laughs> and then Echoes on the right. But here we go, game number one. Let's see how this unfolds because by the looks of it, it looks like TNT doesn't want to get invaded. That's why they want to put something as fast as a Lancelot in the hands of uh, SDZYC here. Again, you know, I'm thinking uh, as we jump in here, load up into the land of Dawn, I think this is a good time for maybe TNC to do something that's out of the ordinary for them and something that we're used to seeing. And uh, this could very well be the start of what's in store for them in the future. I'd expect that it will be... <laughs> What's the word here that we're looking for for the Carl TZ Bats? What? Interesting? Curious? Uncanny? Uncanny? Nah, unorthodox. No, unorthodox? So far it's working. I mean, it's clear and fast. <laughs> for six seconds. <laughs> yeah, despite despite uh, Ben Thing's giving him quite the visit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By the way, is there a new skin for the Faramis? Yes, there is a new skin, finally! Oh. Isn't this what you posted earlier? Yes, I did. Okay, well... Wait, is this live through our own um, server as well? Correct, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. You just need to recharge any amount of diamonds! Oh, yaoi! Yeah, yeah. Well, Carl TZ is going to go ahead and invade anyway. Here we go! On the Barrett, it doesn't matter what he's playing. He's going to okay. invade SD here. SD is going to try to get the purple if he can. He doesn't. And he doesn't. Stolen right from him. Look at the level gap already building here. Just not even two minutes into the game. This is probably because of Yaoi. Because Yaoi can easily <laughs> just control SDZYZ. And look at that. It's just level two at this point. And Yaoi, every second that he's wasting for SDZYZ is a lot yeah. of deficit between two junglers. And already, this is a massive victory for Carl TZ's Barrett. Yes, you heard it correctly. Carl TZ's Barrett. Hmm. It is true. It is true. And it's still, a, I mean, it's still kind of a, a weird thing to see. But, I mean, at this point, SD, even rolling with this the jungle emblem himself, he's just going to kind of play catch up. Maybe even just give this first turtle away. It's going to be taken care of very quickly. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you can see him. He might have plans to go ahead and take that purple buff from Carl TZ here. Well, Yaoi's on the case once again. Not gonna let him. Sanji. Oh. Gonna the get flicker. kicked away the dragon. SD should be fine though. The backup is there. Colt Alter is gonna be popped. Oh. Sanji goes in with the flicker, able to grab the kill. Happy with that to further delay SD. A meta pick versus a not so much of a meta pick and not so much of a meta emblem for SDZYZ. The Faramis is just way too good in these kind of fights where you group up together, there are three members of TNC, Ghost Bursters deals as much damage as you wanted to in the early stages, then Yaoi, of course, with the Flicker. It's just telegraphed for Sanji to reign over SDZYZ in that clash, and even more so for Carl TZ, having so much of an advantage. It's him controlling three-fourths of the jungle, of the total jungle in the map. To say that SDZYZ is struggling is an understatement. Mm -hmm. It is, again, just a matter of the metagame, a matter of the way Echo is playing, and man, I gotta say kudos to the lover boy. Yeah, he's doing it again. Look, he's yep. distracting Chu. Yeah, he's... Yep doing exactly what he has to do here and it you know when you when you pick a lancelot you kind of even with a jungle emblem you want to be the one being proactive you want to be finding you know those kills in the lanes if you can but at this point you're just scrapping yeah. for any kind of gold and xp yeah. that you can find joseph look at this two thousand ahead in three minutes exactly what and in <laughs> yaoi is also uh, a level ahead a full level ahead of the enemy jungler and the jungler Yaoi's is a position 5. 
This is how bad it is. I think Yaoi's just literally been... Uh, he's just been living yep. on this on TNC's side here. Yep. Eating their food. <laughs> just camping out, but already, I mean, forcing out that Phantom Execution oh. too. Yaoi with away the dragon. Does have the black shoes though, so King Salomon's gonna be fine, but still, you know, you're seeing it right here. Echo Express still full alive, and now Turtle coming up here, the second one of the game. Yaoi just doing what he does best. Carl TZ did grab the purple buff, gonna be making his way right through the mid. Gonna find SD there. I don't think they can really contest this. They might though with Cram here. Also, you can see that Yasuo is making his way mid lane might. Just go ahead and call it off and just give the turtle to yep. Echo again. Man, Tristan, the way he's playing this game is like a kid hopped up on Chalk Quick. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's hyperactive. He's yes. doing so much. You remember when... Um, is that chocolate it, milk? Sorry. You know, did you watch it over the hedge? You know, the yes. Squirrel? <laughs> right? That, that is him. That's what right he's doing. Now. He's just everywhere all the time. <laughs> <laughs> when the, the world uh, slowed down just because of the Harry. By the way, you saw how TC so confident he... He made the beeline from the opposing turtle pit to the bottom side of turtle pit. Not a care in the world because he's level 8 and SDZYC oh, is level 6. There's another perfect setup from Yaoi. Able to grab the kill on SD again. Wild Charge going to come out, but the Colt Alter oh response. Carl TZ trying to get someone in that belly, but not going to happen here. Going to back off. And again, just the struggle here. You're seeing it. Carl TZ still. Again, when you're a beefed-up big dinosaur, <laughs> what do you have to worry about, right? A BBD. Yeah. That's that's a little dangerous. A yeah. beefed-up big dinosaur. Yeah, no. You just said it. Yeah, beefed-up big dinosaur. And it's dangerous, BBD. too. It's still da yeah, it is <laughs> double dangerous. Double B, double D. Watch out for the BBD. D. Yeah. yeah. One more. You did. Anyways. Of anyway. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I, I, I don't know exactly how TNC felt going into this matchup if they expected anything other than what's happening now. And the icing on the cake is the fact that Yaoi is making it all the more worse. Yeah. And it, it, honestly, the best thing that TNC can do is somehow get a pick off here. But who do you pick off? That's the question, right? You continue to buy somewhat, uh, I guess, time for SD to be able to crawl back into here, but you gotta look for something, right? You gotta look for some setup oh. already. Ben thinks he's gonna get the kick. Gonna wild charge, oh. but look at the backside. Oh. There to punish. Drag back here, oh. Yasuo goes down to Sanji Cram. Now going in for the kill, does find Sanji. They're still going out of here. SD, can he capitalize off of this? Black Shoe's gonna be pop. Carl TZ quite low. This is the moment that TNC needs. SD gets one. Can he grab Yaoi? Not able to get it because Benny Cutie stops him right there. Benny. And now the return fire. Here comes Sanji trying to help out. Cram should be fine. He's quite Benny. low, oh but it's Benny Cutie. Benny to clean up the pent-up storm that was brewing three zero and one for benny kitty and very precise on the attacks as well it it, it didn't look as easy for benny kitty because there were so many dashes coming up from tnc but he chose the right targets and eventually got more kills in exchange for uh carl tz surely tnc was able to find a shot down Actually, it wasn't a shutdown kill anyways, because oh. the thing with the rubber band effect or the comeback mechanic for Mobile Legends is that your enemy has to have a streak for you to punish him. Cartesi only having one kill meant that he didn't have a streak, so it wasn't that much uh, of a yeah. shutdown, which means that TNC will still have to reach out and find more ways to cut this deficit of 4.73 thousand gold. Hey, man, forget a streak. Any kind of kill, any kind of win for TNT on the map is a good thing, but Mr. Gonzalez had to come in and shut that yeah. down. I mean, even a turret at this point, right? Again, if there's someone that you can rely on for TNT to do that, it is going to be Cram. But I just think right now he's more needed in these little skirmishes, these team fights, to actually just allow SD to secure parts of the jungle that he needs. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we've seen how invasive yep. Echo has been up to this point. Oh, okay. okay. Yaoi. Goes in, okay. but wrong target there. They're still fighting under the turret. Oh. Cold Holder gonna be popped. They the do gobble him in, throw him into the wall here. Can they grab the kill? But on the back side, he's unleashing. It's Benny Cutie still unleashing on this Melissa. They grab a kill. It's only Ben things that falls, but they do lose a turret. They lose more space here. Still Echo going. still going at it. The unleash on the turret, looking to take the tier two. Cram, not gonna let it happen though. They hold on to it for now.
hunt. This is the classic Echo Express. What I like about it is that when they went in for the kill, they still got a turret afterwards. So it, it still is rewarding no matter who they were able to kill in. It's all started by this man, Yaoi, playing so well in this game and had one mission to disturb the jungling of SDZYZ in the terms of the local gamers here in the Philippines for the invade that he did, and he was very successful in that. Yeah. Oh man, crashing down all on Sanford here. It's gonna be four members of TNC versus Sanford. He still wants to Doesn't fight. even need Sanji here just yet. Sanford still going Yowie. forward. Look at the backside. Yaoi looking for King Salman. Can't get the kickoff he needed just yet, but look at Benny Cutie. Oh. Finds Yasu on the backside. Pops the ultimate. Still working. Looking for another kill. King Benny. Salman gets taken down too. That's the double kill for the Storm. What a world we live in. It's usually the marksman that gets dived exactly. in the back line. This marksman goes into the back line. It went for the complete wraparound, which you normally see with us since but they played it so well and he's so surgical in his targeting as well you can have to you have to look back at that game and uh, that skirmish and understand how Benicuti precisely went into the backlines and went for the right targets if he had nailed the perfect ultimate the keep away if he just nudged it for maybe two or three pixels to the right it would have gotten more kills in there but already echo been so phenomenal this game. Sanford started that fight in the bottom lane. It was a very long uh, race that they did. As King Salman actually dodged one of the ultimates just by dodging the Astor's Eye using the Purify, but he still faced the same fate as you saw Ben Cutie with the right timing going for the back lines. Oh, ben thing's gonna be in trouble here. Oh no. It's just doing yeah. it. There's not much you can do there. Ben Thing's going to get taken out here. We're talking about almost an 11k gold lead at this point. It's very, very grim for TNC. This whole time that Wolf was breaking down what Benny <laughs> Cutie did, that beautiful play. Lord. Echo took Lord, right? And now they're marching down mid. They're looking to penetrate. Yeah, they might actually yeah. just look to end the game here. They're going to go ahead and oh. grab that turn in mid lane. And Sanford leaving the minions up here on the bottom side. The base. They're looking for another kill. SD getting taken out. Going to be a monster kill for Benny Cutie. Colt Alter going to be popped. Yaoi not able to find the connection he was looking for. But the turret now going to go down on the bottom side. Does Echo already want to end the game here? 11 and a half minutes in. They're poking the TNC. The kick comes out, finds the angle, finds the target. It's Ben Things that falls. Minions, there's a few still up. Base gonna oh. be worked on. Cram goes down. Now Minions on the top side. King Solomon and Yasuo trying to defend here. Yaoi with a sliver of health before he's taken out. There you oh. go, Sanford slamming Duncan. Double kill, looking it's for another. Sweet. And that's gonna be it here as the Echo Express in a dominating fashion takes game one. A decisive outcome to a game that started out in the draft with Jaws a gap. Yep. What a victory. As soon as the heroes started to fall despite the NC's I must say, 